welcome to Branch of Israel. This is Rabbi Roger coming to you from God's beautiful country, Israel. Okay, picture this. We're all sitting on a set of bleachers ready for something to happen, but nothing is going on. Neither team seems to be moving. There is one team on the field, but they appear to be frustrated and angry while the other team is sitting on the sidelines looking bored. Why are they not moving out onto the field? Who is holding them back? Wait, there he is. Coach BB himself, but what is he doing? He appears to be walking back and forth, and every so often he's looking at the other team. Why is he not letting his players move onto the field? Why is he holding them back? Now who is that man that just walked up to him, and why is he acting lethargic? It couldn't be. I think it is. It appears to be Sleepy Joe, talking with Coach BB. But what about? This is not his team, nor does he have any coaching experience. So what is he telling him? And why does he keep pointing at the field towards the other team? I'm not sure what is being said, and I wish we could get a microphone down there to listen in, but Coach BB keeps shaking his head with an emphatic, No! It appears he is concerned about his players and what the other team might do. They have been known to break the rules and never seem to play fair. Earlier, the crowd came in carrying lots of Israeli flags to support their team in anticipation that they were going to crush the opposing players. However, this crowd appears to be getting restless as well, because they paid a lot to see this game and want Coach BB to make a quick decision and get on with it. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm getting something in my ear that, that we're able to get a correspondent on the field and find out what is going on. What's that? Oh, okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it does not sound good, but it looks like there may be an even longer delay than expected. Looks like what happened is Israel lost the coin toss to kick off the ball. The reason Coach Bibi does not want to go on the field is that he is waiting for the right moment to move onto the field. I wonder if he's waiting for the sun to lower down into the right position because it would blind the opposing players. Oh no, I can't believe it. The opposing team appears to be digging a deep hole. What are they hoping to do? Force Israel to fall into it? According to our field correspondent, it appears they are digging a tunnel towards their goalpost. See, I told you they don't play fair. On top of that, something else that looks disconcerting. A referee just blew the whistle and is walking over to the coach now. From what I understand, he is telling him either to start playing or he will have to forfeit the game. Looks like we'll have to wait and find out what will happen next. So what are we going to do? Israel finally had gotten excited, but the anticipation of the wait is deepening and the crowd might just want to go home. After all, it has become stagnant. And well, things are basically looking like they may be drying up. Ladies and gentlemen, we must pray godly wisdom for Coach BB. For more teachings and information, visit branchofisrael.com. Again, this is Rabbi Roger coming to you from Israel. Thank you so much for listening. Later on, goodbye, or see you again.